What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and I am back today with another video guide and playthrough for you all. In today's video you guys, we're going to be walking through the next stage of chapter 3 for Doom. Uh, it's going to be nodes 3, 6, um, currently known as the Graviton node, but you know, um, you know, what we've seen in the past is generally these nodes can be potentially just a placeholder, so who knows who Graviton may be actually replaced by, but for the time being, this will be Doom 3, 6, so let's go ahead and walk through the roster I'm going to utilize here. Um, for this node, you guys, you know, never thought I'd be saying this, but it is actually going to be a full Avenger squad. So let's go ahead and talk about who we're going to utilize here. First and foremost, I got Hulk here at 49k uh, with the 4 red. As you can see, no T4 in his abilities. He's at tier 11 gear. And in addition, for his ISO 8, we're going to utilize a level 2 striker to increase his overall damage DPS. In addition, giving him that extra boost in health. Next, you guys, we do have working hand in hand with Hulk to soak damage up. It's gonna be Captain America here at 46k. Uh, as you can see here, for his ISO 8, it's gonna be the level 3 healer just to provide some active healing in this roster, especially when the Avengers doesn't actually have that much sustainability. In addition, as you can see here, he is fully at tier 12 now with no T4 and his abilities as well. Next, you guys. We're going to be getting lots of extra strikes and DPS from Thor. He's at 45k here. Fortunately, I did get him with the 4 red. And as you can see for his ISO 8, I do have him at the level 2 striker. Similar to Hulk, providing an extra damage and DPS for our roster. And in addition, I love Thor's AoE. We're going to bring him on board for his stun as well, as you'll see in this video playthrough. Next, you guys, it's going to be Hawkeye at 43k with the 4 red. In addition, for his ISO 8, we're going to utilize the level 2 Raider here, working hand in hand, uh, providing those vulnerabilities for both Hulk as well as Thor to get that extra damage when, strike, when striking upon those vulnerable targets. In addition here, um, these are his abilities right now, no T4s on his abilities, and I did give him a couple upgrades here for the tier 11 just to boost his overall health and resistance. And last but not least, you guys. Black Widow here at 42k and the tier 12 gear. As you can see here, I got her with the 3 red. In addition, for, his ISO, for her ISO 8, it's going to be a level 2 skirmisher, increasing her overall health. In addition, the skirmisher is going to work hand in hand with both the raider and the striker, making sure that there is going to be those opportunities to apply that vulnerability, increasing our uh, potent damage that we're going to utilize for this node. So there you guys have it. That's in my Avengers team right now that I'm going to be utilizing. So let's dive right in to the video playthrough here. And as you can see here, total team power of 226k, almost 227. I do have Hulk as well as Captain America on the right side, uh, away from the targets I want to keep healthy, being both four as well as a Hawkeye, um, just because of the fact that they do damage and blind. And I have Black Widow in the middle, just because she does have invisibility. So if she's invisible, the Tom won't hit her. So that's the reason behind that. So from the very beginning, you guys, um, we do have to aim and make sure we take down Storm, Quake, as well as She-Hulk before we take down Doom. Um, the tricky thing is with him is every two, three turns, he does do... A Doom does perform his burst damage where he utilizes all his clones and it does an immense amount of damage. So what you want to do in this first wave is you want to take down every clone that appears um, that's, uh, that's part of Doom. Additionally, after doing so, resume damage. So um, what I like to do is, as you can see, we try to stun Doom. It actually doesn't work. It applies a slow on him. So that's what we want to do every time. Um, unfortunately for this node to make it harder, he just can't be stunned. So every time you guys get a stun, make sure you use it on the real Doom and then resume um, going ahead and attacking the rest of the other targets. So I'm gonna use speed up here to give my team an extra edge here. I'm gonna go ahead and blind um, Quake. There's no point in blinding uh, Doom just because of the fact that it likely won't impact him. He, um, so um, he has high immunity to all kind of um, our debuffs. The only thing that really sticks on him is the uh, the slow. And um, honestly, and that that's really the game plan there, right? So at this point, both Quake as well as Storm should be taken down now at this point. And, and you're going to be taunted by She-Hulk, which means you just don't have any chance to attack. So just use basics on She-Hulk. That's really what I'm doing right now. And what's going to happen is Doom is going to activate his special ability where he uses all his clones here, makes them disappear, and then utilizes them as a, a damage burst on our team. So really, it's if you can survive this first outburst, then we got a chance. And th fortunately, as you see there, that's the reason we bring on Thor because 
he's passively doing damage to them whenever his Avengers get struck. And that's really key because we really do want to take down those clones. Uh, reason being is when Doom uses a special, the more clones he has, the, the stronger he will be. So uh, we need that buffering space. That's why we, it's really important to take down those clones, um, especially if we have the opportunity to do so. So now that She-Hulk's taunts off, I'm going to go ahead here. Um, we do want to finish off She-Hulk as well, but as well, keep in mind, like I said, uh, we always want to keep taking down the clones. So what I did there with Hawkeye is I actually used a special to reduce the speed of doom and then i used uh black widow once again to stun the real doom and again you see that slow on him you really do want to slow on doom um at the same time our team having speed up with him having a slow it really does provide us time to kind of heal up and really patch ourselves ready for the next wave so at this point you guys um it's a it's a ram rampage assault we have to resume attacking uh doom now and uh, this is really important you guys um, the reason it's so key to activate that slow and a speed up on our team is because every two to three turns, Doom actually activates his healing where he basically resets all of his health to 100%. So, um, like, you actually do need enough damage. Um, it took me a while to get this because um, if, if you don't have enough damage on your team, you're not going to be able to finish Doom off. So, as you can see here, I used uh, the special for Hawkeye to constantly reduce his speed. Once again, I activate Black Widow's stun to activate that slow. And then you just try to throw everything at him. Um, fortunately with Thor, we got the striker. Uh, Hulk, we got the striker. And um, at this point, hopefully you guys have enough damage. If, if you cannot take down the real Doom in three turns, two to three turns here, um, he's going to fully heal. And that's when you know you don't have enough damage. So for me, it was kind of experimenting and figuring out where my roster was and whether or not I did have the appropriate damage um, needed to finish off the real Doom. So this would be the last turn here, I believe now, that his health would reset. So which means um, you, we got to take him down. If we don't take him down, um, he does reset his health 100%. So that's why you see me going kind of berserk here. I apply the slow. I use the, the, the um, taking away his speed with the Hawkeye special. And I'm just trying to apply everything at him because um, if, if we don't finish off in this last turn here, uh, that's when he resets his health 100%. And trust me you don't want that it's going to be a never-ending loop and that was the mistake i made um during my initial run-throughs of this node I, I think a lot of players are going to realize that too you know they'll be going about their thing um having all these buffs on their team and all of a sudden doom's back to full health well that's what he does right it's because he's building up his ultimate and his ultimate heals him back to full health so there you guys have it finishing off doom now that actually does leave the last six here taskmaster shuri bullseye heimdall uh we got we see the thing as well as the lieutenant and the big guy to take down here is definitely Taskmaster, just because he has the blind. So that's why I went ahead. I stunned Taskmaster first. I'm also going to use Thor stun here to try and stun Shuri. Unfortunately, it didn't land. But uh, Shuri and Taskmaster are the two we got to worry about in the beginning. Uh, if you guys get Hawkeye's uh, ultimate here, we do want to blind. So just uh, whoever isn't already blinded or stunned, I would take advantage of that. But really, um, it's going to be taking down Taskmaster and Shuri out of this bunch. Or whoever is lower after all that AOE damage. So um, this is another reason why we're bringing out Thor, right? Uh, we don't really know who's going to die first. But hopefully um, his, his passive strikes uh, one of these guys down. So I see the Bullseye and the Shuri weakening. So I'm going to take advantage of that. It wasn't part of the game plan. But the fact that he got weakened so much from all the AOE uh, definitely works in our favor. And we got to take down whoever we can just because these guys are, uh, you know, 20,000, 30,000 higher power than each of our characters. So it's very dangerous. They can one-shot us if we're not careful. Uh, unfortunately, Thor's uh, passive missed there because he's blind. But that's okay. Uh, we'll have another opportunity. So as you can see, Shuri is quite weak, but we do also have a Black Widow stun. So we're going to take advantage of that. And um, it does do the chain slow and bleed, so which is really nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Let's finish off Shuri so they don't have any more healing and defense up. Just trying to evaluate here in terms of, yeah, um, if we attack the adjacent, oh, shoot, I didn't, I actually didn't see that Hulk was blinded, my my goodness, I that was my bad, um, but we'll go ahead here, um, fortunately, she dropped with the bleed, so that worked in our favor, we lost Black Widow, but that's quite okay, uh, again, this is more so a guide to show you guys the playthrough of, uh, can you do with this low of a team, so, I mean, uh, definitely possible, as you guys can see here, um, we only have four targets left, going to go ahead and stun taskmaster once again if we can unfortunately it didn't stick but it did get the thing on the side there so that's quite all right we can at least reduce our damage overall we'll finish off taskmaster beautiful uh thor's aoe absolutely love it very key um it's actually even unbelievable that such the, the I, i've seen so many players having difficulty with this node but um just to show you guys this playthrough of my team here 
um, gives you a, a perspective that you know you don't necessarily need a 300k team but definitely uh, strategy is a really really big part of it so I mean as you guys can see here it wasn't perfect but um, you know I got the win here and uh, definitely you bet I'm gonna be retrying once I'm stronger to do the three stars but there you guys have it I just want to progress forward into the rest of Doom chapter three so that's the goal there so there you guys have it uh, that is me completing 3-6 graviton node wasn't pretty but um, I used a significantly lower team than a lot of players so uh, I think this is one of the lowest I've seen actually 227 or 228k so as always you guys i appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos hopefully this provides some perspective and strategy overall on what you need for this node um thank you as always i do appreciate it and as always i'll see you in the next one